Hello IBC, this is Amy and I'm here to bring you the weekly Devo. Yes, I am in my paint clothes and I'm in my garage full of lots of, I wanna say junk, but it's not all junk. It's just is stuff that isn't so pretty along with my transformed furniture that I love to do in my spare time. And the reason that I'm sharing all of this with you and in my garage setting is because I wanna talk about transformation. And um, I just think it's so fitting because my husband and I love to um, go and into people's homes and transform their kitchens, paint their cabinets, transform furniture. I love taking something old and just putting my worship music on and painting and just watching the transformation happen. Um, we're currently actually um, all day today and this week we've been remodeling pastor's office. And I was gonna record in there, but it was super echoey. And I just, it's, the whole reason I wanted to do it in there is because, well, it's at the ugly stage right now. And I wanted to show you how, when you're in the priming stage of painting, it's not pretty. As a matter of fact, last night on my way home, I called pastors and I said, when you go in the office in the morning, just beware because it's all primed and you know, priming, the prime stage is ugly. Um, and so why am I talking about this? Because I, God put on my heart to talk about transformation. And I think it's just perfect because that's exactly like our walk with Christ, right? So we have these times where we're being maybe in a season where we're being transformed. When we come to Christ, we are coming to him with our sin and our junk and we literally give our hearts to God and he transforms us and he makes us into something beautiful and new. But it doesn't just happen and then it's done, right? It's a continuous walk. It's a continuous work. Um, it's it's time with the Lord where that really is where the intimate times with him is where he transforms us, right? Through his word and through um, everything that he's doing in us and through us. And I want to read to you out of um, Ecclesiastes, I can't say that right, Ecclesiastes 3, um, let's see, verse... Um, 11 God has made everything beautiful in its own time he has planted eternity in the human heart but even so people not cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end so I just want to encourage you that um, whatever stage you're in whatever season you're going through God's not finished with you yet and there are times when we don't necessarily it's not necessarily beautiful right we're in the stage where maybe it's it's what i call with what i was just talking about in the priming stage of painting where it's kind of ugly but i got to keep you know we got to keep moving forward and keep pressing on and we can't we don't want to quit when during that stage because there's something beautiful right on the other side of it and um our whole walk with god is like that because it's not like all of a sudden we've arrived it's a continual thing as a matter of fact i think about how we all see things, we see beauty different, right? So sometimes we see something that's a beautiful sunset or a cute little new baby, or we see something that just catches our eye because by our eye, it's beautiful. Whatever we're seeing in that moment is just beautiful, right? And I, then I think about when I sat with my grandma when she was at the end of her life and she was passing on. And I know that's a sad thought, but you know, she didn't, necessarily look beautiful in that moment to the eyes you know she was ill she was dying but why do i speak about this because really it was beautiful like she had gone through her life she'd gone through the different seasons she had a great life she was almost 99 years old i was so close to her and i felt like it was just awesome to be in that moment with her um in those last days and it just it was hard um, she's precious to me, but some of you know what that is like if you've been with loved ones while they're, you know, passing away. And as sad as it is, it's also beautiful to spend that time with them before they go and, and to have those memories and to look at her life and go, wow, you know, she's been in all these seasons of um, where she's worked hard and she's com completed the race. She's finished until she goes into the other side of eternity and she's going to be with the Lord and, and God has so much more for her even there. Um, so I wanna to read to you out of Philippians 1 verse six and it says, I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue his work until it's finally finished on the day when Christ returns. So like in my grandma's case, she had finished, she had run the race, she had done amazing. 
but while we're in this life, right, we can't, if I just quit in the middle when it's hard or when it doesn't look so pretty, um, there's seasons of life that as a Christian, um, you know, it, it isn't always so beautiful to the eye, but it's actually awesome because God is doing such a great work in us in those times where he's stretching and growing us and it's like painful in a good way, right? Um, and I just wanted to be real about being transformed and come to you in my paint clothes and my crazy hair. And um, I think when Pastor Michael saw me today, he was like, you are a mess. Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, my leggings look like I have been in the color run race and that's just how my paint clothes look. But when I'm in that stage where it's kind of like, oh, it's, it's the ugly stage of painting, sometimes halfway through the late hours, um, I'm in my garage often just, you know, um, with furniture jobs and things like that where I'm painting late into the night where things take longer than I want and sometimes I become a little bit impatient. I don't want to complete the, this. I don't want to finish, right? I kind of just want to stop in the middle and, um, and that's where it takes work, like I was saying earlier, and that's where we have to push through. And if I just stop in the middle of this remodel or I stop in the middle of my furniture, it's not going to look like this in the end. You know, it's it's going to look, I, I would just, it wouldn't be of any value to anybody if I just quit when it was the ugly stage. So I just, again, want to encourage you to to keep going, keep, keep pushing through. Um, we're not finished yet. God's not finished with you. He has such plan and purpose in every season. Whether things look beautiful to you right now, whether you think you're beautiful, God, you are. God's made you that way. His word says that. And no matter what you're going through, um, you're beautiful inside and out. God is stretching and growing you in those seasons where you may not feel like it. Um, but when you come out on the other side, you're going to be transformed. We're continually being transformed. It's not just a one-time thing. So friends, just be encouraged and know that God is not done with you yet and we're gonna finish this race strong.